Hey there, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. One of the things I have on Ultimate Reloader is a feedback mechanism where people can suggest content. And overwhelmingly, the most popular suggestion is information about the Ultimate Reloader reloading bench system. So in this video, I'm gonna kill a couple birds with one stone. First, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the system, how we're gonna mount a press, and we're gonna continue in our series on the RCBS Pro Chucker series of brand new reloading presses by mounting the frame of the Pro Checker 5 onto an RCBS accessory base plate which uses the Ultimate Reloader bench system to secure the press to the table, the workbench, but we can also move it around easily and get a bunch of different presses and accessories and equipment all using the same system uh, fastened down securely. So let's take a look at uh, this plate system up close. RCBS has what's called the accessory base plate system. That's uh, these aluminum plates that uh, you can use to fasten a bunch of different RCBS uh, equipment quickly and effectively uh, by mounting this to your workbench or some other system. Speaking of other systems, I've got the Ultimate Reloader Bench system here. So the way this system works is I've got a, a bench plate here I've got a doubled up laminated three quarter inch plywood plate here that I've got an, an RCBS accessory base plate mounted on. Now I've also got uh, aluminum bench plates and I'm about to start experimenting with steel bench plates. So in this case we've got an RCBS base plate uh, two I believe this rev is here. And I just got my hands on the RCBS uh, base plate uh, number three. Now, what we're going to utilize is these D holes here. And you'll notice that there's three of them on the accessory base plate three. There's three holes in the Pro Checker Press. On the uh, base plate two and prior, there's only two holes here. So, note to self, if you have an RCBS Pro Checker Press, you're going to need accessory base plate three. So before I swap plates, I'm going to fasten the bench plate to the bench. To do that, I'm using 3 8 inch bolts here with quick knobs on the top. I've got four of those. And I've got these T-tracks that I've embedded in the surface of my work uh, bench. I got these from Peachtree Woodworking. I also took my milling machine and notched them. And that's handy because you can then butt them together and then have a place to put the 3 8 inch bolt. They go down, they slide across, just like that. Sometimes if you get debris in there, they get a little bit sticky, you just have to kind of wiggle it a little bit. All right, so we get our left-hand side bolts here positioned first because we're inserting them on the right. Not even hand tight here, we're just basically getting them down close. And then we uh, align our notches here. We put our uh, right hand bolts down, barely. Okay. Now I'm just gonna kind of tighten these in pairs. You can feel the difference in torque there. And it doesn't take a tremendous amount of torque. You know, we've got a fair lever arm all the way back here. Uh, I believe these are about seven inches apart. I'll list the uh, complete specs in the uh, accompanying blog post. So click on the accompanying blog post if you wanna uh, learn more information. All right, now let's get these plates swapped out. All right, so I'm gonna remove these screws. I think these are about number 10s or so. I like number 10s. A little beefy to number eights. Okay. So this is our number two. We're gonna set that aside. Bring up the number three, which is the new one. And that's right. If you use number tens, it's about the same size as the bore, so you kind of have to kind of have to get them started a little bit. I don't remember if I drilled those other ones out. That was a number of years ago. If we get two in the diagonal, we'll be good. So that locates the plate. See that one went through a little bit easier. OK, 
Okay, we are down solid. Time to put the press on. All right, now all we need to do is mount the press. So I've got three, approximately one inch, three eighths inch bolts, three three eighths inch washers. I've got a nine sixteenths ratchet and I've got a nine sixteenths uh, combo wrench. So I'm just gonna grab the, the press here. We go with the rear bolt first. Get that started. This one is a little bit longer uh, boss here because the press is a little bit thicker in the back. So you could go a little bit more than that uh, one inch if you felt so inclined. I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit so that we can get everything perfectly centered a little bit easier. There we go. Something like that. So we place all three. And there's some obstructions on these side bolts, hence the, the combo wrench. So I'm just looking to make sure everything's parallel and square. Might not even use that ratchet. I got things pretty close here. Everything needs to be absolutely solid for a reloading press to function properly. You don't want primers rattling around when the press is getting shaken by a flimsy bench or a flimsy mount. Ah, that feels nice and solid. I could just feel that, you know, bear down on the aluminum plate. That's, that's great. Okay, so we are, we are nice and solid there. All right, so before we conclude this press mounting video, I wanna get the, the handle mounted. This is the handle that comes with the uh, RCBS Pro Trucker 5. It's very stout, it actually uses the same 916 wrench that we were just using for the press mounting bolts, which is, which is great. Okay, so we're just gonna spin that baby down. And then when it contacts the press, we can just snug that with our 916 wrench. And these parts are pretty strong. I don't like these things spinning loose. So I'm gonna bear down a little bit on that. All right, and then the last thing we need to do is remove this pin, which keeps the press locked for shipment. And uh -huh, there we go, first cycle of the press. Very nice. Well, it's always satisfying to do a job right, and that's what we've done here. We've got a solid bench, we've got a solid bench plate, we've got the RCBS accessory base plate, we've got this RCBS Pro Trucker 5 securely bolted to the bench, and, and ultimately that's going to give us better feel, it's going to get us better function, and with this system we can freely you know, take the press off the bench, put it on, rearrange it around other stuff, slide it over, it's a really great system, and I will be providing more detail on Ultimate Reloader uh, on this bench system. So if you like my channel, please subscribe. If you want to know more about this uh, system, please go to ultimatereloader.com and stick around because we're going to do a lot more with the RCBS Pro Checker 5. Thanks.